Welcome back. I am Pratap here. Today is the 16th January 2024. So today is an excellent day. We got excellent profits from the high liquidity zones generated from our yesterday's report. I can say extraordinary profits, especially sale has given. Even Grasm is also given very good profits. So let us analyze those stocks. Even before that, if this is your first visit to our YouTube channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. So you can access all our training videos at our YouTube channel, Neostock YouTube channel. So there you click on the home page and scroll down to the playlist supply demand zone price action course. Click on this playlist, you will be able to find all the training videos starting from lesson 1.1. All these uh, videos are placed in an order. So please go through all these videos starting from 1.1 until the most recent lesson. Even all the upcoming uh, video lessons also will be placed uh, in this playlist. I am also providing the link to this playlist in this YouTube video description. So from our uh, YouTube video description, click the link and then directly you can get into this space. Or you can also find the links to all these videos at our uh, Telegram channel. So I am also providing the link to the Telegram channel in this YouTube video description. And uh, please visit our Telegram channel uh, and there you can uh, subscribe to get all the updates. And please make use of this opportunity and strengthen your skills related to supply demand zone price action. Now let us get into the analysis discussion. Yesterday, we identified five high liquidity demand zones and supply zones at daily time frame and 75 minutes time frame. So let us go through these zones. The first one is a Sun TV. This is a high liquidity daily demand zone. This is the fine tuned area within the weekly zone and today prices are yet to enter into this zone. So that's why we didn't get a train. You might ask a question, it is already tested. Yes, it is already tested because this is the daily high liquidity zone. Definitely it supports multiple entries. See here, we got the first entry, we got the second entry. See the order flow here. The order flow is very strong in this zone. And moreover, this stock supports a bullish trade setup. That is what we discussed uh, uh, in the practical uh, uh, video for lesson 15 that I posted in today's morning. So this is a bullish stock. If you get it, uh, you, uh, because the trend is in our favor and even the price direction is also in our favor. If prices are entering into this zone, definitely that is going to be a good opportunity. The next one is a HDFC bank. This is a high liquidity supply zone, daily supply zone, and the prices haven't entered into this zone. So that's why we didn't get any trade in this stock. And the next one is a Grasim. Grasim is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone. This is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone. And if you look into Grasim, we have already rally base rally and this we find you into the 15 minutes level. Let me show you the 15 minutes zone. So here we have a 15 minute zone. We have a base candle. We have two, I mean sorry, we have a legging candle, two base candle and a rally candle. So within this area, you can fine tune at 5 minutes level. Now let me go to the 5 minutes and show you how we plan the trades. So within this area, we have two zones are available, two 5 minute zone. This is a rally, base, rally. This is one 5 minute zone. And another one is a drop, base candles, four base candles. 
and a rally candle. And moreover, this is a LOTL concept. This 5-minute zone and this 5-minute zone together formed. When there is an LOTL, what happens? You will combine both. When you combine both, if the risk is within your manageable level, you can plan the trade. So after combining, the risk is also within our manageable level. And moreover, this 5-minute zone is a high liquidity, 5 minutes again. That means already we are having a 75 minutes high liquidity zone. Within that, we have a 5 minutes high liquidity zone. See, we got the first entry. And here again, we got the second entry. And we got the third entry. This is uh, happened today. And this is the fourth entry. This is also happened today. Today we got two entries. This is the first entry, today's first entry. Morning at 9.15 minutes candle, we got this entry. And then reached the target at 9.30. Within 15 minutes, the trade is completed. And Grasim has given 6,153 rupees profit, which is 3.43% ROI as per one future slot. After that, again, prices entered into this zone. Again, we got another entry, second entry and today. But this time, prices went a little deep inside and then came. And what is our new target? Because this is already, this zone is already violated. This is no more a valid 15-minute zone. So here, I identified another 15 minutes fresh zone here. We have a drop, base, drop. We have a follow-through candle. So this is the way you can identify this uh, new target. So when we got this entry, at 1 o'clock candle, we got the entry. And when it reached the target, at 2 o'clock candle, it reached the target. Within one hour this time. Earlier, within 15 minutes, the first trade is completed. Now, second trade is within one hour it is completed. And this time it has given a profit 7,417 for 7, rupees profit we got, which is 4.14% return on the investment. So which is more than 7% ROI if you combine both the trades, 7.5%, 7.5% ROI we got by combining both the trades for Grassim. So Grasim has given two successful trades. And next one is LIC Housing Finance. It is a 75 minute zone. And the prices did not enter into this zone. Because prices did not enter, we did not get any trade. And next one is sale, a very important one. Why very important one? Because this is the one given real profits. This is a 75 minute zone. It looks like the zone is violated, the demand zone, sorry, supply zone. But see the demand zone. We got an excellent entry today. Not only here, even we got an entry in this 75 minutes. See here, the 75 minutes after that price has entered here, and then after that, this zone is violated. We already got an entry and this is the, sorry, this is the five minute zone, fine tuned inside the 75 minutes. When we fine tuned in yesterday's class, during the yesterday's video at the time of recording, I shown you how to draw this zone. We have drawn in the live session, in the recorded, in the recorded session we have drawn. That means you are all already aware of this particular zone. Moreover, it is a fresh zone, 5 minute zone. This 5 minute zone is inside the 15 minutes. Let me show you. This is the 15 minutes time frame area. We have identified this zone. Inside this 15, we have a rally. We have 4 base candles. And then we have a drop. So within this area, Again, we fine tune to five minutes time frame. So let me change the time frame to five minutes. 
In this five minutes time frame, we have identified an excellent ERC candle, then we have two base candles. And within these base candles, we have drawn with type two entry, type two proximal entry. If you add the hidden body, this is going to be a rally candle. If you add the hidden body, from here to here, you get the body. Or you can say ERC candle, this is going to be a ERC candle. And then we have two base candles and a drop candle. This is what we have drawn in our yesterday's session. In the live recorded video, we have drawn this zone. That means you are already aware of this zone. And also yesterday we discussed the prices are haven't reached into this zone because there is a one minute high liquidity zone. Let me show you the one minute high liquidity zone and one minute time frame. This is what we discussed yesterday. We got an entry in this zone. This one minute is a high liquidity one minute zone because every time it is creating new zones within this area. See here a new zone is created. We got an entry again in new zone. Within this new zone again we can take an entry, next entry. Here. Again within this zone again another zone is created. This is on Friday. Again within this area again we can take an entry. So yesterday again within this zone we got the entry yesterday. Again, yesterday also a new zone is created, rally, base, drop. Again, we can take an entry here today. We can take an entry. That is what we planned today. And today what happened? Prices entered into this newly created zone. It gave a small rejection, but that is not enough for us to book the profits. After that, again, this prices further went up, further went up, further went up and this is our stop loss. The stop loss is the actual 5 minute zone we identified. After that new zones keep on creating and the risk is also increasing. But this risk is within our accepted level. Today we took an entry at the 1 minute and after that the 1 minute area is violated and a combination of all these 1 minute areas because there might be possible one of these one minute might be having some pending orders or might be having capability to push the prices down. That might happen, but that didn't happen. That's why we kept the stop loss at the top of all these one minute zones. So entry is here, but stop loss is here. And finally it hit the stop loss. At We got the entry at 9, 9, 9 o'clock 18 minutes candle and the stop loss is triggered at 9 o'clock 21 minutes candle. Within three minutes, it hit the stop loss. And that way sale we got 3,600 rupees loss, which is a negative ROI, 1.35%. Because we know as per our capital, the future margin amount, up to 2% we can accept the risk. And also I told you in case if anybody feel the risk is high, Within this one minute, newly created one minute digital line, you can exit in case if that is violated. If that is the case, you might have exited at 9 minute, 19, 9 o'clock 19 minutes candle, you might have exited. That way you might have got a very small loss. Maybe within some 500 or 600 or even below the loss you might have got. But we have to accept the reality is there, there are higher chances prices may turn back from any one of these zones. That's why always we keep, but here we got 3,600 rupees loss that we have to accept. There is no other choice. Those who felt this, this entire thing is a higher risk, they would have exited within this newly created yesterday, whatever the one minute zone is created in that proximal line, you might have exited. In nine, min, in nine o'clock, 19 uh, minutes candle, you might have exited. That is a different story, but I am considering uh, for our calculations point of view, I am considering the loss as 3,600, not 500 rupees or 400 rupees. We have to accept this loss. Because I am able to bear this risk, so I am considering 
this is the loss but what happened after it created all these zones definitely demand demand would have been weakened that is an indication see here how it consumed the next zone also how it pushed there were some rejections that means demand would have been some of the demand would have been consumed within this area definitely by the time prices entered into this uh, the fresh 5 minute supply zone we have drawn in our yesterday's class this is the zone this is the actually the real one we actually we targeted but why do we why we are taking entry in between is we identified a 1 minute high liquidity zone we don't want to miss the, that opportunity that's why yesterday we got a very good profit we got around 1800 8 sorry 18000 rupees or sorry 19000 rupees profit we got yesterday for sale today we got a 3600 rupees loss from this 1 minute zone area but still 5 minutes has provided an entry here and 5 minutes provided an entry and then prices came down and finally at 12 o'clock uh, sorry at 1 o'clock 36 minutes so around 130 it entered into the demand zone which demand zone this one this is a 75 minutes demand zone high liquidity zone inside we fine tune to 5 minutes level again this 5 minutes is a high liquidity zone 5 minutes is a high liquidity zone within 75 minutes high liquidity zone so actually we are supposed to get an entry in this demand zone because this is the stock yesterday listed stocks near the demand zone but uh, what happened today morning today morning instead of prices entering into the demand zone first they entered into the supply zone and this supply zone is also a high liquidity zone so that's why we took an entry in this fresh 5 minute zone area and finally it gave a profit after reaching the 75 minute high liquidity zone so there is no 15 minutes area within this uh, to target so that's why we our target is directly reach to the directly reach to the the 75 minutes high liquidity zone inside we have 5 minutes fine tuned area that i will be showing you how we fine tune but what is the profit we got we got 24000 rupees profit from here from this uh, 5 minute supply zone to this 5 minutes high liquidity demand zone fine tuned inside the 75 minute zone which has given 24000 rupees profit that way we got 9% roi return on the investment for our short trade okay now not only short trade now immediately we got another opportunity what is that long trade opportunity we got and it is a very powerful long opportunity why it is very powerful long opportunity there are several reasons reason number 1 this is also a high liquidity zone this 75 minutes high liquidity zone let me show you the 75 minutes time frame we have a rally we have base candles and again we have a rally candle this we find you into 15 minutes time frame area within the 15 minutes time frame area we have identified drop base and a rally so that means we can target this is the area if prices comes we can target but what happened instead of this 15 minute zone we already having one 5 minutes high liquidity zone let me show you the 5 minutes time frame there is a this is not inside the 15 minutes area this is a drop base rally candle this is a with gap rally candle this itself is a high liquidity zone area we got multiple entries this is the first entry this is the second entry this is the third entry and today this is the fourth entry this is a high liquidity 5 minute zone there is a lot of order flow is there in this area that's why we are planning our trade directly here itself the reason is this is a 5 minutes high liquidity zone this 5 minutes high liquidity zone is there inside the 75 minutes high liquidity zone so that's why we can accept directly a trade here itself that is reason number 1 and reason number 
why this is going to be a powerful trade if you would have noticed our today's morning practical lesson i posted today around 11 10 o'clock or 10:15 i have posted a video if you would have gone through that video definitely you would not have missed this trade and when we got this trade at 1:30 around at 1:30 today at 1:30 we got this trade what is that i explained in today's morning practical session lesson 15 practical part 2 lesson 15 part 2 that is a practical lesson say i explained even i posted in our telegram channel the stock names i posted the sun tv sail and the poly what is that oh, forgot the name sorry poly gram or poly poly cab sorry poly cab these are the three stocks i have posted and in that a sale is a bullish setup it is a stock bullish setup the sale uh, sale is a wit trade weekly income trade and also sale is a bullish setup trade that means weekly trend is uptrend even daily trend is also uptrend the trend is very strong but we are taking the trade against the primary price direction but in favor of the in favor of the secondary price direction that is secondary price direction is from demand zone to the supply zone so that means it is a high liquidity 75 minutes high liquidity zone in that again we have 5 minutes high liquidity zone moreover the trend is very strong trend is our friend it is in favor of the trend and the location is also at the equilibrium is it equilibrium or low on the curve i guess i'm sorry i didn't remember maybe i think it is either low on the curve or equilibrium that means the location is also in our favor when everything is in our favor why do you want to miss this trade see how strongly it rallied after that then what is the target one way is your target could be the supply zone but this is a bullish stock it is this zone is already tested there are higher chances of breaking the supply zone so then how to plan the target previously we discussed when we get a second opportunity always look for target if the target is not clear if your target is not clear always look for the trailing stop loss see 5 minutes if any demand first of all where is the 5 minutes demand zone it's keep on creating the rallies rallies so that's why what i did is instead of 5 minutes because demand is very strong i went to 1 minute the trailing stop loss based on the 1 minute and moreover this trade is almost during last 2 hours of the trading day sometimes stocks go very fast during last 1 hour or 1 and a half hour or 2 hours that possibility is also there so that's why keeping all the points in my mind i am not only monitoring the 5 minutes i am also monitoring the 1 minute also see it's keep on creating 1 minutes demand so i want to exit when 1 minute demand zone is violated see this is a 1 minute demand zone is created again 1 minute demand zone is created again 1 minutes demand zone is created now price has reached already i have 1 minute demand zone we have a rally to base candles and a rally if this One minute demand zone is violated. I want to exit instead of exit here. It gave some rejection, but that is not good enough. See the next candle. There are some some pending orders here. Sometime it resisted here. It formed some base candles. So now my I have a new target here. We have a rally base rally. If this demand is violated one minute, I want to exit my trade. But that didn't happen. so prices entered into this demand zone again this is newly created 1 minute demand zone pushed the prices up 
So that means my new demand, rally, base, rally, rally, follow up candle. Maybe this is the one. But this is not violated. Further prices, we have a drop candle here, again base candles created. Again a rally, we have a drop candle, two base candles and a small rally. It's not a very great leg out, but okay. Because now we are reaching close to the end of the last one hour of the trading session. So we should be very strict. So that is the reason why what I did. Consider this as a demand zone. So we have a rally base drop. This demand is violated. So immediately at the distal line of this demand zone, exited and booked the profit. After that, prices moved narrowly. Okay, this is a completely waste. Maybe some prices, it went beyond this. But finally, this entire area, prices moved in a narrow range. Maybe we would have planned our, uh, our trade in some other stock within this uh, next 45 minutes time period where prices moved in a narrow range. But anyway, exited here. This is because who knows? If prices go down, our profit margin would have been gone. That didn't happen. That is a different story. But strictly followed. So this is the way for the second trade, Sail has given 37,600 rupees profit which is 14.1% return on the investment. First trade, we got a loss 3,600 rupees. Second trade, we got a profit 24,000 rupees, which is 9% ROI. Third trade, the final trade, we got 37,600 rupees profit, which is 14.1% return on the investment. If you combine all the three, it's two profits and one loss, if you combine, the sale would have given you 58,000 rupees profit. Which is close to 22% return on the investment during the intraday. It is excellent, right? Why we got such a huge success? The reason is, yesterday we have drawn this supply zone, a fresh zone, the supply zone worked. And today, we have identified a bullish trade setup stock. This is not only a high liquidity zone, this is also a bullish trade setup. Trend is our friend, that is what we are always discussing. Trend always our friend. Not only this is a bullish trade setup, but this is also a high liquidity zone, 75 minutes high liquidity zone. Not only 75 minutes high liquidity zone, inside 75 minutes, we have a 5 minutes high liquidity zone. How strong all these factors when you have such a strong factors, why we want to miss the trade? Moreover, this is given during the last hour of the trading day, last two hours of the trading day. Already earlier you got some successful trades. Apart from that, during the last two hours again you got another successful trade. That's why I told you today is that full of opportunities. The day, the whole day is full of trading opportunities. If at all, if you get loss, only you would have got loss in the one minute zone. If anybody planned, I'm sure some of you definitely ignored one minute area zones. If at all, if if you would have got loss, this is only the minimal loss at one minute zone. Whether you take the trade or doesn't take the trade, that is different. But I have to register the losses because we are maintaining the statistics. So this is about the sale. And one more thing, uh, today one of the questions uh, for the uh, video I posted uh, today, today morning about sale just before... Uh, uh, recording this video, started recording, I have seen the comment. In case if the person is watching this video, I don't know whether he is watching or not, but in case if he is watching, please understand in lesson 7, the zone freshness and the zone achievement video, I clearly explained 
if the zone is not a fresh zone you cannot take a trade but there is an exception there are some special zones these special zones are named as high liquidity zones these special zones always supports multiple trading opportunities that means multiple tests are allowed more than one test is allowed in high liquidity zone that is what i explained in lesson 7 not only that in today's video when i am explaining about the sale today's morning video that is uh, our lesson 15 part 2 practical session video i clearly explained when i am explaining about this sale sale is a high sale is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone because it is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone it supports multiple tests that's why the one more test is also allowed in sale in the demand zone i'm talking about the demand zone because today we discussed about the bullish trade setup second test is also allowed that is what i clearly explained not second even third fourth also will be allowed as long as our high liquidity zone concepts are satisfies so that is the reason why please understand if you are, i think you you did not go through the lesson 7 maybe you might have land your demand and supply zone concepts some from somewhere outside and then you are trying to correlate with the, the concepts i have explained so my sincere suggestion is forget what you land outside please go through all the lessons one by one starting from lesson 1.1 training video go through once again there is nothing wrong because you are going to learn new topics here you are going to learn the most important topics that is going to give you profits i never i never care what people are teaching outside because i am not going to focus on them i am going to focus on my concepts the research i did and the research i did and identified the concepts that is giving profits and how to get profits with the with the help of those concepts i am focusing only on that so that is the reason why i am requesting you go through all these lessons one by one there is nothing wrong when you are getting good profits why do you want to bother about the concepts that are not really giving you profits you have to upgrade your skills when time changes the concepts also will be changing if you don't upgrade the concepts if you don't upgrade your skills how do you expect to get the profits we found a way for grabbing good profits then you have to follow that way how to follow the way you have to learn the concepts see how all these days this is the fourth month we been publishing the videos i started publishing high liquidity zones from uh, september from october onwards we are monitoring the results how we are monitoring every day we are analyzing the previous days zones and also uh, whatever the analysis whatever the trades are successful or failure everything i am putting in the excel sheet again for quick reference october november december this is the fourth month january we have all the statistics with us in the excel sheet every day at the end of the month that is on the first or second of the new month started i am publishing the excel sheet in our telegram channel the failures are less and the successful zones are more when there are failures the losses are very very minimal but when we get the profits the profits are excellent profits see today we have seen we got one failure about one minute zone level one minute high liquidity zone level that loss is minimal but see the profit we got 3600 rupees loss for sale but we got 24000 one trade another trade 37600 rupees this is during intraday profits that is the way our high liquidity zones are helping that means whatever people are against we are following that concept what people are against if a zone is tested once that's it they don't want to look into that 
if somebody takes a trade wants to take a trade in that zone second time people will give 100 lectures no you should not take a trade because it is already tested why do you want to take this trade this is against the principle that is the way people will talk but we know we have the skills we build the skills we know when a tested zone will work we know when a tested zone doesn't work see today this tested zone is worked I mean, no, this is a fresh zone is worked and then failed second time. But this tested zone worked for several times. See here. Why this is not worked for the second time? Because we know this is not a high liquidity zone. This, this entire area is a high liquidity zone. But within that, the fine tuned area is not a high liquidity. But the, what about here? This entire area is a high liquidity zone. Again, this fine tuned area is also another high liquidity zone. That's why within this 5 minutes area, we are taking multiple entries. But this 5 minutes area, we took only one entry. Second entry, we didn't take. Even we didn't exit at this well. Next time when prices entered here. Trailing stop loss we followed and we were waited. Because we know this zone is already tested. Definitely it will be violated. Because we, I already explained when a zone will be violated. As per those principles, because this zone is tested and it is not a high liquidity zone, even though it is inside the 75 minutes high liquidity zone, 75 minutes supports multiple tests, but not the fine tuned 5 minutes. But here also 75 minutes supports multiple tests, but not the fine tuned. But this fine tuned again supporting multiple, why? Because the fine tuned zone is also a high liquidity zone. Apart from that, the trend also in our favor, bullish trade setup. See, all these factors, positive factors. How much profit it has given to us today? In just one hour, one hour of the trading session, we got 37,600 rupees profit only on this trade. I'm calculating all these uh, uh, profits as per one future slot. If you are using options, maybe you might have got a different margins, profit margins. That is a different story. Because always I'm calculating ROI based on one future slot, written on the investment and the profit margins. So that is the reason why my sincere request to everyone, please go through the training lessons properly. Learning half the, half the uh, get, gaining half the knowledge from some other person, gaining another half the knowledge from my videos, if you follow this kind of approach, you never get success. Moreover, I'm providing a free training, a quality training. So what is the problem in going through the videos? Completely one by one, line by line, you have to, I'm expecting you to listen line by line. If you don't understand, listen second time or even don't compromise in listening third time. Because these concepts are making you get the profits. Why I have to put so much of effort? Almost one and a half, almost uh, one and a half week or maybe two and a half weeks, not one and a half, two and a half weeks, only I put my effort in finalizing the rules for price direction. Price direction is a powerful concept. See, with the help of the price direction only, we identified this zone today. In the morning training video I posted, I we explained about this zone with the help of the price direction, with the help of the trend. And combined price direction and location, that is your curve. That way we planned this trade. And finally it became a successful trade today. Just one hour, getting 37,600 rupees profit is not a small thing. Because this zone is having such a positive thing. That's why today morning, morning uh, by 10 o'clock itself, I posted that video. At least some people go through the video. If prices enter into this zone, they will get prop benefit. That was my intention. Because I never know the pr prices will be reaching at morning 9 o'clock, at 1 o'clock, or maybe tomorrow it might reach. That is a different story. By the time I finished my record, actually I uploaded the record at 8 o'clock itself. But YouTube took two hours time to process the video and finally to post.
My intention is at, at least before trading starts, I want to publish that video. Because I know something is going to happen in this demand zone. Why I know? Because already I know this is a high liquidity zone. And this is also there in the bullish trade setup zone. When high liquidity zone and your bullish trade setup both combined means it is a superpower. It gets an extraordinary power. See, this is a high liquidity supply zone. Again is the trend we got the profit. See, again is the trend it gave 24,000 rupees profit today. This high liquidity supply zone, which is against the trend. That is what I told you. High liquidity zones, if they are against the trend also, still they give 15 minutes target during the intraday, during the intraday. So that way we got this opportunity. But now this demand zone, this is again another high liquidity zone, but this is in favor of the trend, in favor of the location, in favor of the price direction, the secondary price direction. The only against factor is against to the primary price direction. That is the only thing. But trend again is helping us. Location is helping us. And all these together, see how much push it has given. That's why it is an important video. Because you've been learning the most powerful concepts. High liquidity zones, okay, at least Neo stock software will support. Manually, it is difficult for us to identify all the high liquidity zones. We will accept that factor. But what you can identify manually, the bullish trade setups, you can identify bearish trade setups, you can identify. Okay, if you take the help of Neo stock software, time will be reduced. But manually also you can do. But high liquidity zones, manually identifying all the high liquidity zones is not practical. Maybe few you may identify, but not the rest. It is very, it is very difficult. Because analyzing the data from the year 1994 is not a practical thing. Only computers can do. But finding the bullish trade setup and finding the bearish trade setup, you don't require any software. You can do it manually. But analyzing all the 200 stocks is difficult. But definitely some stocks you can manually, you may identify. So when you can identify bullish trade setups, bearish trade setups manually, what's wrong in learning those concepts in proper way? Price direction, I know how powerful that concept is. That's why I spend good enough time even though your training program is delayed, still I didn't compromise. If training program is delayed, what happens? Some people's interest might be killed. But still I didn't care about that. Here your interest is killed or my interest is uh, killed. That is not the question here. Here accuracy is important. Perfection is important. I didn't compromise about the accuracy and perfection. That's why I took my own time and finalized the rules. And see the result today? This is a classic example. Prices came, see how fast it pushed. Why it happened like this? Because of the trend. Because of the price direction. Because of the location. Of course, high liquidity is also another concept, another reason. Learning is very, very important. Learning in proper way is very, very important. Learning is not important. Learning in proper way is very, very important. Some of you people are learning. Some of you people are learning in proper way. See the difference. Some of you people are learning. How you are learning? Half the concepts you are learning from somebody. Another half the concepts you are learning from somebody. Because you are thinking that already you learned some concepts outside. Not going through all my videos properly. Maybe you are skipping the videos and finishing the video. One hour video you are finishing in just 10 minutes or 20 minutes. If you learn my videos like that, you never get good knowledge what I am expecting you to learn. And I have seen some people are learning every word by word, line by line properly. I remember previously I appreciated few people because of the kind of questions they asked. If you learn line by line, word by word, then only you will be able to get such kind of doubts. I am expecting everybody should learn like that. 
when i am expecting everybody should learn you have to do that then only you get money making money is not easy please remember you can't get money just like that otherwise everybody will become a rich person why few people are making money and few people are not making the money because few people are learning the concepts in the right way and remaining people are learning but they are not learning in the right way i started this channel in such with the intention i should teach the concepts in the right way when i am teaching the concepts in the right way what's wrong in learning the concepts in the right way one hour video you finish in 20 minutes or 10 minutes what is it you are going to achieve the 20 minutes is wasted time for you the one hour video if you spend for minimum one hour actually it takes two hours also some points you have to repeat second time third time that is called dedication even at the time when i land i land like that only some 20 years back when i land the concepts first time when i am learning with the dedication i learned everything i didn't compromise i always tried to find the roots behind the concepts i didn't land the concept just like that i try to find the roots behind those concepts that is the reason why i know all these indicators everything when they work when they fail moreover i have my own advantages of the other skills like programming that further helped me because i did a lot of r and d with the help by developing several software programs and doing back testing and so many other things i found over a period of time that is a different story but today what i am doing i am teaching my experience to you please remember easy making money never happens many of the people they fail because they want easy making money you have to do lot of hard work and you have to spend right efforts then only you will be able to get the profit please remember with the half of the knowledge with the half the knowledge you never get the profits that's why my sincere request to everybody go through lesson 1.1 till the recent 11 recent 11 line by line word by word you learn and then you understand because i surprised you today when someone asked how can you how can you trade a zone which is already tested it surprised because before that i clearly explained in today's video it is a high liquidity zone high liquidity zone supports multiple tests not only in today's video even in lesson 7 the first phase of the training program lesson 7 zone freshness and zone uh, uh, achievement lesson 7 in that i clearly explained somewhere in uh, Uh, between 5 uh, minutes to 6 minutes oh, sorry 6 minutes to 7 minutes if i am not wrong between 6 uh, minutes to 7 7 minutes in that video discussion i have explained clearly fresh zone cannot be tested but if it is a high liquidity zone that is an exceptional high liquidity zone always supports multiple tests i clearly told you I also told you you will be learning about high liquidity zones as part of your third phase of the training program. Just for the benefit of the people who already land supply demand zone training courses somewhere outside, who already completed few years back and practicing for their benefit, high liquidity zones already explained as part of the regular training, regular analysis discussions. Same thing I will be explaining again. in detail with more examples sir, during our third phase of our training program even then i gave you overview high liquidity zones are supported by neo stock software and which supports multiple tests we don't bother about the fresh zones tested zones also we take entry those who listened my today's presentation morning 
ట్రైనింగ్ లెసన్ లెసన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పార్ట్ టూ దోస్ హూ లిజ్ అండ్ యూ వుడ్ హవ్ గాట్ ఏ థర్టీ సిక్స్ థౌజండ్ రూపీస్ ఆ థర్టీ సెవెన్ థౌజండ్ రూపీస్ ప్రాఫిట్ ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ట్రేడ్ ఇస్ ఇట్ నాట్ ఎ గుడ్ ప్రాఫిట్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఇంట్రాడే Okay, I already gave so much of a huge, uh, big, uh, I don't know, it is an advice or maybe it is a class to you. But I feel it is the time because, see, you have to understand, if you are the person making more money, I am the most happiest person. Because that is a justification to the efforts I am putting. And due to some reasons, due to some ignorance or due to some half knowledge, you land from from me and half knowledge you land from outside and if you mix both the concepts and if you are trying to trade definitely you miss opportunities like this that day definitely i feel sad see i am uh, if you if if 10000 people watching my video or 1 lakh people watching my video i don't get happiness i get happiness when you really make money that is the goal behind putting so much of hard efforts from my side if you are making money that is not my greatness that is the greatness of neo stock software my software gets justification my software gets a value addition that is what i am looking because all these zones are identified by the software even the examples i have taken in the bullish trade setup or bearish trade setup which i have shown you in today's practical session i took those zones from our with the help of neo stock software because i am not a god just like that identifying the stocks that are supporting bullish trade setup or bearish trade setup i should spend at least a whole day or at least two or three days to find those stocks manually but i don't have that much time so what i did i simply opened our software i just added the conditions in our strategy builder i listed i got some three or four soft, uh, stocks listed and randomly i picked few stocks from that that's it that way the software saved my effort and also helped you provide some good examples to explain the concepts not only helped you to provide good example today one of those examples sale gave you extraordinary profit in just one hour of the trading that that too during last two hours of trading session that's it that is the magic done by neo stock software i want you people to get benefit from this software why i'm feeling like that because i know the effort i spent sleepless nights for several years not several days several years in building this software from the year 2008 till today put so much of effort in building this software when i put that much effort obviously i expect that kind of results from this with the help of this software every day we are just seeing high liquidity zones okay high liquidity zones gives a very good profit during intraday i agree but high liquidity zones combined with bullish trade setup or bearish trade setup see the kind of result we get that is what happened in sale today most of the times high liquidity zones we got intraday profits against the trend but today first profit we got against the trend and the second one even much better profit in favor of the trend see this is the one this uh, short trade is against the trend it gave a very good profit 24000 and long trade is also high liquidity zone but it is in favor of the trend see this one is given even more 37600 rupees profit it has given even it would have given even more also 
but okay we have exited as per our uh, trailing stop loss okay this is about uh, the analysis part i don't want to extend further but i am expecting you people to realize why i am keep on shouting what i am shouting please complete the classes properly attend the classes properly don't skip the lessons if you skip anything ultimately it will hurt your profit margin that is what i am shouting i am not shouting to scold you i am shouting to make you realize what is important and what is not important where you need to focus and where you need not focus and what you have to give importance and what you should not give importance this is what i am trying to make you understand okay now let's uh, generate a demand and supply zones so for today's uh, session let us uh, find the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frame starting from yearly yearly time frame let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone no stocks mostly yes for yearly time frame stocks near yearly supply zone no stocks next one is a half yearly time frame let us find the stocks near half yearly demand zone no stocks are there for half yearly time frame let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone one stock is filtered let's go back let us change the time frame to quarterly let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone so two stocks are near quarterly demand zone let's go back entry time frame is quarterly let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone and the two stocks are filtered which are near to the quarterly supply zone so let's go back let us change the time frame to monthly let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone so two stocks are near to the monthly demand zone let's go back monthly time frame let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone no stocks next weekly time frame let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone so three stocks are filtered near to the weekly demand zone let's go back weekly time frame let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone six stocks are filtered which are near to the weekly supply zones let's go back next entry time frame is a daily let us find the stocks near daily demand zone so six stocks are near daily demand zone any high liquidity demand zones icici prudential is there already tested two times mfsl is there but it is already tested four times page industries is there already tested seven times okay that's it these are the high liquidity zones demand zones high liquidity daily demand zones let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks near daily supply zone three stocks are filtered any high liquidity hdfc bank is a high liquidity supply zone already having one rejections that's it only one high liquidity supply zone from this list so let's go back let us change the time frame to 125 minutes and find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone so these five stocks are near 125 minutes demand zone let's go back for 125 minutes time frame let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone so 11 stocks are filtered which are near to the 125 minutes supply zone so let's go back 
let us change the time frame to 75 minutes entry time frame is 75 minutes let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone so three stocks are filtered any high liquidity zones we have only one zone identified bajaj finance which is a fresh zone fresh high liquidity zone but you need to when because it is a fresh high liquidity zone carefully you find you in the zone check the quality of this zone so let's go back entry time frame is 75 minutes let us find the stocks near 75 minutes supply zone six stocks are filtered let us check high liquidity supply zones the first one is abl capital already tested five times Next one is uh, Cummins India. It is already having one rejection. So we have only two high liquidity supply zones identified. Look for fresh zones because it is already tested five times. We have to look for fresh fifteen minute zone inside this. Or if there are any price action clues, you can look for aggressive trade on the five minutes. That is also allowed. because it is tested five times there is a possibility that you may find either 15 minutes high liquidity zone or 5 minutes high liquidity zone. that possibility are also there so carefully analyze the stock okay this is about uh, 75 minutes time frame let's go back let us change the time frame to 25 minutes let us find the stocks near 25 minutes demand zone so these 11 stocks are near 25 minutes demand zone So let's go back for 25 minutes time frame. Let us find the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone. So these seven stocks are filtered, which are near to the 25 minutes supply zone. Let's go back. Let us change the time frame to 15 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone. So these seven stocks are near 15 minutes demand zone. So let's go back for 15 minutes time frame. Let us find the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone. So these two stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Let us change the time frame to five minutes. Let us find the stocks near five minutes demand zone. So these ten stocks are filtered near to the five minutes demand zone. Let's go back for five minutes time frame. Let us find the stocks near five minutes supply zone. So these seven stocks are filtered near to the five minutes supply zone. So this is the filtered list. I hope this information is useful to you. Now we have all the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames. So let us all meet again in our next video. Thank you.